Hello friends, and welcome to another magical story time with me, Flyleaf the Book Fairy, your friendly neighborhood storybook fairy. Today's story involves a daring knight, a handsome prince, and a fire-breathing dragon. We are reading Prince and Knight, written by Daniel Hack and illustrated by Stevie Lewis. Are you ready to get started? Prince and Knight. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far from here, lived a charming prince who was handsome and sincere. His parents knew that soon it would be time he took the throne, but with a kingdom so grand, the prince could not rule alone. So the three of them set out and traveled far and wide on a quest to find the prince a kind and worthy bride. The prince met many ladies, and he made them all swoon. But it was soon clear that he was singing a different tune. Thank you, he told his parents. I appreciate that you tried, but I'm looking for something different in a partner by my side. But while the royals were away, their land faced quite a scare. From the dragon fast approaching, breathing fire everywhere. All the villagers ran in fear. Even the soldiers hid and fled. This vicious beast is far too great. We must retreat or we'll be dead. The prince heard the dreadful news and he raced home with all his might to protect his precious realm. The prince was ready for a fight. Very responsible. Alas, before you fear, our prince had to face the beast alone. Along on horseback came a knight, cloaked in armor that brightly shone. The dragon charged upon our heroes, thinking it had already won. But the knight had a bold idea and raised his shield to face the sun. The glare hit the shining metal, blinding the dragon's fiery eyes. But it was what the prince did next that really caught it by surprise. <clears throat> The prince had climbed atop the dragon and tied a rope around its head. He wrapped the cord around the neck and down the body like a thread. The plan had worked. The dragon was caught. Its body was tied and bound. But the prince up high had lost his grip and was falling to the ground. The knight below jumped on his horse and they began to race. The prince was caught and free from harm held in the knight's embrace. You saved my life and you saved mine, they said to one another. And in a flash to each it felt, there simply was no other. The knight took off his helmet to reveal his handsome face. And as they gazed into each other's eyes, their hearts began to race. As the villagers returned, it became clear to those around that the prince's one true love had at last been surely found. The king and queen had come back too and were overwhelmed with joy. We have finally found someone who is perfect for our boy. And on the two men's wedding day, the air filled with cheer and laughter for the prince and his shining knight would live happily ever after. The end. I hope you enjoyed today's story. I hope you have many successful adventures and I will see you another day for another tale. Goodbye friends.